my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. sacred institution based on human society and it should be held in high honor among all men and women. We are assembled here today in the presence of God to join this man and this woman in holy marriage which is an institute of God regulated by his commandments and blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ and let us therefore reverence and remember that God has established and sanctified marriage for the welfare and the happiness of mankind. Our Savior has declared that a man shall leave his father and his mother and cleave to his wife. By the apostles, he has instructed those who enter into this relationship to cherish and to a mutual esteem and love and to bear with each other's infirmities and weaknesses and comfort each other in sicknesses and trouble and sorrow and honesty and industrials and to provide for each other and for the household and temporal things to pray and to encourage each other in things pertaining to God and to live together as heirs of grace. Who gives this woman to be wed? Mm For as such of these two persons have come to this house of worship to be made one in the holy relationship of marriage, it is understanding that neither of them or others present an awareness or just reason why any contractual parties may be unlawfully joined. I charge you both before God and the Father to search all hearts and that either of you knowing any reason why why, why you may not lawfully be joined together in matrimony. You do now make this known. For should any person be joined together otherwise than in honor with the will of God, their union is blessed of him. Does anybody have a reason why these two should not be married? Then we'll proceed. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we just thank you right now, Lord God, and we pray, God, that as this union begins, Lord God, Father, that you step into it from the beginning, God, and bring them all the way through the end, Lord God, till death do they part. Father, we know that there will be some hardships, and we know that there will be some heartaches, God, but with you all things are possible. Father, we know that you are that third cord that binds them strong. Father, keep your hand in their hand and keep their hands in your hand, God. Father, that they may... Oh, come through every trial, every tribulation, that they may succeed, Lord God, in what you have now blessed. We bless you now. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Okay. Your hands up. You ready? Yes, sir. You ready? Nervous, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I look, I, you know, it's something I usually do to calm the, the, the marrying parties down. I just want to tell y'all a little story. Is that okay? That's okay. Well, you know, usually you remember in the older days when great grandma and them would get married, you know, things seemed like it was a lot simpler, and it usually was. And I heard tell of a couple that got married, a young couple was just beginning to start their life together, and they had gotten married and they were on their way home. They come out and they get in their little buggy and you know, he gets the horse to go in and the horse starts going down the road. And as the horse starts going down the road, all of a sudden the horse stops 
And when the horse stop, you know, they're looking and they're excited because they're married now and they want to get home to consummate the marriage. And, you know, and they're like, why is this horse stopping? This stubborn horse, he won't go. And we excited about getting home. So all of a sudden, the, the, the wife gets out and she looks, she goes to the horse and she stands in front of the horse and she says, now horse, that's one. So she gets back up in the carriage and the husband looks at her right strange and as he looks at her, he's like, okay, so the horse starts going again. So they get a little farther, get a little closer to the house, and then all of a sudden the horse stops again. And once the horse stops again, she gets back out of the buggy and she goes back to the horse one more time. And she said, huh, the horse, that's two. The horse looks at her and shakes it off and she gets back in the buggy and they go on a little bit farther. They're almost home, not far. They're in walking distance now. They're that close. They're excited and they think they're almost there. And then the horse stops one more time. She gets off the carriage and she goes around and she reaches into her little pocketbook and she pulls out an old 38. And she shoots the horse. <laughs> She shoots the horse. And when she goes back and gets into the carriage, the husband looks at the wife. She says, wife, that's the only carriage we got. What's the only horse we got? Why are you shooting? You can't shoot the horse. all we have. And she looks over to the husband and she says, husband, that's one. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the moral of this story is a happy wife. A happy life. Life. So I said, I feel a little bit better. Okay, all right, all right. Here we go. All right. Lorenzo, yes. do you solemnly agree before God and these witnesses to take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife and to love and to respect her and to honor and cherish her? in health and sickness, in prosperity and in adversity, and leaving all others and keeping yourself only to her as long as you both so live. I do. Tara, do you in like manner solemnly agree to receive this man as your lawful wedded husband and to love and respect him and to live with him in all faith and all tenderness in health and in sickness and prosperity and adversity, leaving all others, keeping yourselves only unto him, so long as you both shall live. I do. I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are there <laughs> As y'all are joining hands. I need you to repeat after me and state your own name, not you state your name. <laughs> I, I, Lorenzo, do Martin. take you, Tara Graham, to be my wedded wife and do promise to covet before God and the witnesses and be. I'm supposed to be repeating after me, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try this one more time. <laughs> I'm going to try this one more time. I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. I, I Lorenzo, Martin. Do take you, do Tara Graham. Okay, now just you. As my lawfully wedded as wife. My lawfully wedded wife. And I do promise to covet before God. And I do promise to covet before God. And these witnesses. And these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful husband. And plenty. And plenty. And in want. And in want. And joy. And joy. And in sorrow. And in sorrow. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Okay, you, Tara. I, Tara. I, Tara Graham. Do take you, Lorenzo, to be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. And I do promise to covet. And I do promise to covet. And to be a witness before God. And to be a witness before God. And to be loving and faithful. And to be loving and faithful. In plenty. In plenty. And in warmth. And in warmth. In joy. In joy. And in sorrow. And in sorrow. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. As long as we both as shall long live. As we both shall live. Amen. As I place these rings, as I have these rings, we will bless them.
Father God, we just thank you right now, Lord, for this symbol, Lord, that represents you as totality, Lord God. Father, this is a symbol that is not broken with a pure circle, Lord God. Father, it has no beginning and no end, Lord. So, Father, I pray, even as this marriage beginning, Lord God, let there be no end. Father, we thank you right now, Lord God, and we pray, God, that every bound is held to your highest esteem, Lord God. Father, cover them, Lord God, in sickness and in health. Oh, Father, in good times and in plenty. Father, we know that you will prosper them. And, Father, give them the heart to seek after you at all times, no matter what the situation. Let them refer to you first. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. May this beautiful token and pledge symbolize the purity of the endless love. after me <laughs> this ring i give you this ring i give you in token and pledge of my constant faith in token and pledge of my constant faith and abiding love and my abiding love this ring i give you this ring i give you in a token of my pledge in a of my and my consistent faith and my consistent faith and my abiding love and my abiding love amen <laughs> Amen. Let us pray. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we have heard from these two persons an acceptance of a solemn, significant vow of marriage. Do thou grant unto them grace and courage, love and loyalty, consistent and faith, and maintain these vows to the end of the way. And may this new home radiate the sunshine of thy love and of many and, and of every heart that comes in contact with this home. And it is several relationships be enriched and enabled through Christ our Lord, who shares in the sacred institution. Amen. 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 And by the authority committed to me by the state of North Carolina and by God himself, <laughs> I announce you, man and wife, you may kiss your bride. Amen. 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 May I present to you none other than Lorenzo and Tara Arnold. Amen. Amen. Good job. God bless. Proud of y'all. Proud, proud.